Okay. okay. So the first use of, so when someone uses Iku and Kudu, there's normally going to be some kind of idea of some kind of person here telling a story. This specific book is written in the first person. So whenever we're going to see Iku and Kudu, it's going to be evolved our main character, Khan, who is written in the first person. This book is not in the third person. Third person books will also use Iku and Kudu, but we're going to ignore that for now. So our main character is Khan. So if Khan describes himself, doing something kudu is going to mean that he's going to come back to the location pretty soon he's intending to come so in english a girl might say someone might say tore ni itte kuru, would mean i'm going to go to the bathroom and contextually it means i'm going to come back i'm not going to jump out the window after i go to the bathroom I, i'll be back in two minutes so for example whenever we leave our zoom meetings the first zoom meeting we probably would end with kudu you could end with kudu, meaning we're going to exit and come back to the meeting. If mm. Iku shows up, which is what we've seen in this book quite a times, describing the main character, this means he's leaving a location and he's not intending on coming back in any time soon. He could come back, but it's not like on his itinerary. Uh, it's not like, it's not like, okay, I got to do this one thing and then I got to go come back to the room. He's kind of not thinking about that. He's just leaving the location. So that's used, for example, in this sentence. Can you read it for me? Yeah,じゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじゃじ
of Iku and Kudu is to describe someone who is not the person telling the story. So Khan is still incredibly important for Iku and Kudu because this book is written in the first person. So it's going to be from his point of view. But when it describes some, what someone else is doing, like Nebidi, Kudu is describing something that's getting closer to him. And Iku is describing something that's getting farther from him. For example, um, we saw it with time as well. You'll see kita, like yoru mo daibu fukete kite, means that the night has advanced quite a bit, meaning that the night is advancing toward me, the main character. So it kind of adds the main character into the story, saying what time it is. It's a time when night had advanced toward him. Um, it was also used over here. So if Khan was standing right here, and the old man was standing over here. Which direction is he going? At A for red or B for green for the first sentence? Can you read it for me? Um, waki, michi, waki michi o ori. Right. He walked towards the side street, Wakamichi. He's Iku. walking Ikamichi. past the side street or towards oh, the side Oh, he goes street. away. He, Iku. he goes away from where I am. Right. So in this case, he's going that way at B, going away. If this was Khan. If it was Kudu, that would insinuate he's walking toward Khan. I guess it go like that. It goes past the side street toward Khan. So that's why these are very important for kind of describing the story. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Kozo koto de matte ore neburi wa soi soi to saki to. I entered the um, sake place. Who entered? But this is Iku. Who entered? Um, nobody entered. Hi, hi. Nobody entered. Ita, meaning away from Khan. Hi, away from Khan. Away from Khan. So it helps you get an idea about where people are situated. So what's going on here is just nobody enters the um, the alcohol place, the sakaba. But this right here makes it very obvious that Khan's up here on the top of the steps watching nobody go away. Versus if you had a different story, like if you had um, Kita, for example, that would kind of insinuate that maybe nobody was really, I mean, sorry, Khan was really excited and ran down the stairs and it was waiting for Nebri to come toward him to enter the bar with him, right? As if you've ever seen a kid, they would definitely do that. The rush down and be like, come on, hurry up. So it just kind of helps situate us. Um, how about this? Can you read the sentence for me? Suruto saki no chisan ga that old man early just now he modote kuru he he returned towards me Hi. and the kuru is describing the ashigashita is the Hi. sound of the footstep of him returning towards me Perfect. Nice. And this right here is going to be our last one, which has a kite and a ita in the sentence describing the subject, which is the uh, sujin. So the sujin wa tsuguni modote ita. The owner quickly or immediately returned towards me and ichigo ga wa 
み出した。砂糖が、砂糖がけのパイの皿も置いていた。And this ita here is iku. はい。So he placed, he placed the plate of pie with sugar. Coated, pie coated sugar and hada hamidashi. Can you help me with hamidashi? Hamidashita is the stick out. So the ichigo, stick. the ki ichigo, the raspberry sticking out of the pie. With the ki ichigo sticking out of the pie. He, he put it down and then he, 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 go, he goes away. I, exactly. Perfect. So it just kind of helps show what's going on. The old man came in. I'm sorry, the innkeeper or whatever. He came toward the main character really fast, put down some pie, and then he left right after that. So that's why. Hi. Super useful. So yeah, that was the refresher Hi. of those guys. Now we have more sentences from the past, but this time we're actually starting the chapter three. So let's see if you remember how to read this kanji. はい、うん、暖炉に炎が赤赤と焼け、焼くえ、or something burning。It is burning, burn. but burning is も、燃え。This guy right here and hono do tend to be kind of interchangeable in this book. Hono is flame. He is fire. And this book wants to just use all three ways to describe a flame. But yeah, moe is to burn. Moe to... Aka aka is flickering. Um, So aka aka comes from the color red, which is akai. Oops. And it is like a sound effect that comes from that. So aka aka, oh, aka aka. Can have two red kanji. You also see that this with kudo biro, like kudo guro, right? Kudo kudo, uh, to mean like super dark. So aka aka is like super red, um, to mean it's a blazing red flame in the fireplace. But it it is Moe. grammatically a fire. It's a onomatopoeia, but it does not come from a sound. Comes from the word red. Do you know what a tsunabi is? Tsunabi. Tsunabi. A kind of a fire. It is a kind of fire, correct. So a tsunabi is a charcoal fire, fire charcoal. Um, or, so that, that's those black things that you can burn. Charcoal, tsunabi. And this is really sumibi, sumibi, not sorry, sumi, sumibi, charcoal fire. And this is important because our next word is going to be sumi. What do you think sumi means? I mean charcoal. Hi, charcoal. Um, can you read what's in the bold again? Danro no mae de mofu ni suru mari. Mofu. Mofu is um Mofu is blanket. Blanket. In front of the fireplace. Right. The blanket. Kurumari. The subject right. of the sentence Mofu. is a uh, kozo. Kozo wa he the kozo. Is in the blanket. Hi. He curled up in the blanket. Perfect. Yep. In front of the fireplace. Perfect. Um, can you read this for me? This is what it, it's let's say Sumi. Right. It's um 
the uh, charcoal, uh, the fireplace that was blazing or burning with the charcoal. Exactly. Perfect. And do you know how to read this part? Part say mega. Mega. Sameta. Hi. No. Mega sameta. Correct. Sam you know what mega sameta means? Never ni ketobashite. Mega sameta. The eye. The eye something. I can't. Figure. Yep. It does have to do with the eye. Sameru, mega sameru, is to wake up. So such it says, nobody kicks me and I wake up. I'm kicked by nobody and I wake up. Mega sameta. I sameta, I, I wake up. Hi. I woke. So now you get to read the first line of chapter three. As you can tell, we're in a room. Can you read it for me? Futsuka. Uh, Utsuka me no asa. Mega sametara. Umiga moeru dandro no maede mofu ni uru mate ita. Perfect. So, tutsuka me is basically the second day. Day two. So met is a counter of days. So this makes it more obvious. We're not talking about the second day of the month, but more like it's been two days, kind of. So on the second day. The second what day? On the second morning. When I woke up. The. In front of the fireplace. Burning with charcoal. I. Kuru mate ita. I was curled up. In the blanket. Perfect. And you can see we're just using normal ita here because he's not changing locations. Do you know what itai means? Itai. Hurt. Yep. Pain. Perfect. Hurt. Ow. Uh. Oops. Do you know what's how to read this guy in the bold? One way. Kata. 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 It actually starts with kata, but you're right that that can sometimes be pronounced as kata, like hashiri kata. In this context, it's like the direction meaning of that. So the direction meaning of that kanji is whole. So it's kataho. Oh. What does kataho mean? This direction. Good guess, but sadly no. So kata kind of has the meaning of one and ho is side, making the meaning of one side. So kata te, for example, kata for one and te for hand would be one hand. So kataho, one side. Robu no kataho no. Suregutsi, which is on one of the sleeves of the robe. So, uh, do you know how to read this kanji? Itai. Itai. Ow. Can you read this for me? Kataho no mega itai. One side of the eye. Well, one of the eyes. I'm confused on this part in that. Is it one side of the eye hurt or is one of the eye hurt? Hmm. So it would be one of the eyes. So even though it means side, it's not normally used. I would say it, it normally it's used when you have pairs of items and it's one of the paired of the items is what kata tends to be used for. So literally it's one side, but here it's like one of 
his eyes. One of the pair. That's why they were one-way ticket. When you have a one-way ticket, that kanji show up, I believe. Probably not pronounced the same way, though. A two-way ticket is a pair of ticket, one forward and one back. You're right. It a is katami tikipu. So it'd be a ticket for one side, but that's also would be a pair, right? Because normally you have a ticket going right. this way and a ticket going the opposite way. Right. So that, that still matches so the kata. pairing idea. Yeah. So you have two so hands, right. two eyes, two sleeves, two paths that you could take on a trip. So that, that's when kata tends to show up. So it's one, one of the pair is basically what it means. So one of the one eyes are. Perfect. You know what nagurita means? From naguru. Nagur, naguru. Nagur. Nagurareta. Passive. Um, it's being acted upon. But naguru, I don't know. Okay. So naguru is to hit. So nagurareta is was hit. I was, was hit. hit. I was punched. Um, can you read this example sentence for me? Nagurareta. Fede. Kataho no me. Kara. Chanto. Mienai. Do you know what chanto means? Chanto is like right or correctly. Aye, or correctly. Well. So what does chanto mienai mean? I can't see well. Hi, hi, hi. So what's going on here? Mm, one of the eye. From one of the eye. Cannot see well. And that is because. Because of. Being hit. Perfect. One of the eye cannot see well. Perfect. And you want to read it in the bold on this page? Um, so, Mondai. Hey, Mondai. Question. What's the other meaning other than question? Mondai. Mon is the as die is a topic. My hint is that it, the main issue is that in English, the word question could mean like, Oh, I have a question for you, but you can't say, "Oh, I have a Monday for you." Totally different meanings in of uh, English and Japanese, so it, it that that's a why problem? I'm specifying here. Yes, problem. So this is used like problems on worksheets and stuff, and problems like I have a problem. Okay. Perfect. And this will probably be our last line of the day. Can you read the sentence from the book? Kino Neburito Veneto Na Ni Nagura Reta Sede Kataho no Vega Squishy Itai Ga Chanto Mier Kara Monday night. Perfect. Yesterday, you know, I got today is you know, today. You know, yesterday, right? Yes, yesterday. Yesterday, due to being hit by Bennett. Due to being hit by Bennett yesterday. Yesterday, kataho no me, one of the eye, a little bit hurt, skoshi itai ga, however, chanto me eru kara, to see well, kara, why is this kara here? Well, let's see, what are the two to meanings of kara? Well. There's two meanings of kara, what are they? From and because. Because. Which one is it here it's, when we end with a do? 
is from. It's not from. From occurs after nouns. It's because. It's because. So because, because I can see, Chanto. Because I can see well, Hi. Monday night is not Hi. a problem. Yeah. So his one of his eyes is hurting, right? He got punched in the face. But even though he was punched into the face, it's not a problem because he can see out of it just as much as he should be. He can chanto miedu. So he's not, there's no like, he can't open his eye or there's not like there's stars in an eye or something like that. Eyes unfocused. Everything's fine. It just hurts a little bit. In other words, he probably has a black eye right now. <laughs> but it's not terribly swollen. <laughs> And that is where we're going to stop. Wait, never mind. One more line because it's because we got three minutes and the next line is an easy line. So I'm just going to turn on this fan real fast. Right. Slideshow. Okay, so let's go read it. This one say, Hey, ya ni. Hey, ya ni wa. Oroshi kai. Ore, ore, shika, inai katta. Inakatta. Inakatta. Okay. Shika is like, except for. Yep. Except for me. Hai. There was no one. Where? Inai katta. There's no one in where? In the room. Perfect. In, There's no one I'm in the room. I'm the only room. one. Hi. Other than me, there's no one in the room. Mm -hmm. The main character is all by himself. Awesome. So that mm -hmm. is where we're going to stop so that all the vocabulary is fresh on our minds. So I'll stop the recording.